Project Mayhem is like the first group that I ever joined. I never really wanted to join the group because I always wanted to do my type of music. But Lino was him and his brother Mark Dane, twins. They were, they were the heads of the group or the leaders, of the people who made the decisions and also funded a lot of the shit, <laughs> I guess. But uh, over the years, uh, we've grown close. Me, me and Lino had definitely. Um, we were just different different folks. When we first met each other, they were from out west, I was from out south. They were more hip hop, I was more soul. But somehow we jailed. And quite honestly, they were my biggest supporters in the whole music. They, Lino actually let me live in his house, their grandmother's house. And I remember for years, he just let me make music. And that's the reason I made so much music. And and stayed in the blogosphere for so long. Um, he just wanted me to make music and he sacrificed a little bit of rent money. And I didn't have to pay no rent, he didn't ask me for no rent. You know, when I got a little check from rapping, I would hit him ever, ever so often, which wasn't a lot, because it was never a lot of money in rap. But um, I stayed in music as long as I did because they had invested so much in, into my career. And I just didn't feel like I could just walk away. I remember going on tour uh, with Scion and the MC Tree GEP. And I toured maybe six, seven spots in Europe. And the money that I was making from the shows barely, you know, paid for the hotel rooms or anything. But I remember Marcus, Marcus flying out to come hang with us and, you know, split the bill with his brother. Just to make sure that I became somebody. So. Lino and Mark Dane, they came out their pockets to buy me clothes so that I looked like a star on stage. And at that time, I was being compared to Rick Ross, Young Thug, Future, Chief Keef, Chance the Rapper. And I was seemingly the only one without a budget or a deal or any type of backing except for Project Mayhem or Ultimate Faith. In it. Uh, Project Mayhem in, in, in general, paper-ish. Man, they were always the good brothers to me. I'm always indebted to them. And they actually gave me uh, some foundation in this music. And I, I felt good to be a part of that group. Because they all were stand up, respectable individuals. So, yeah, you know, Lino just cut him. But he's a great guy. He got great friends. And doing great things as well. Talk to the judge. You gonna pay that fine. I remember Marcus. Marcus yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 y